If you are new to MLB The Show, you may not know about Conquest. Conquest is a great way to earn great rewards and great prizes, especially early on in the game, including stubs and players that you can only get through Conquest. If I hit the Y button right here, we'll be trying on PlayStation players. You can look to see what different rewards you can win. So you go down the list, nothing too crazy here. You get a gold Joe Morgan, but you do see there's XP, which is very, very valuable in the XP reward path. You get a Steve Finley, who always is a great card because he has such a fantastic swing. Same thing with Bill Mazarowski and Jim Tomei. Some decent cards to start out early on, especially if you don't plan on putting a lot of money or a ton of time into the game. Jorge Posada. You got a, you got a bunch of good things here. This Greg Maddox should be pretty nice, especially this year. It seems that uh, control pitchers look like they may do very, very well. And this Roberto Clement, that card, is also a very good card to start out. So many people might be confused at exactly what to do. So if you see right here... Everybody starts out with different amounts in their strongholds. You're going to start out right here with 12 in your stronghold. Generally what I suggest you do before you play any actual games is exhaust all your options in filling up all these different territories. So it's a game of attrition. You really just want to whittle your opponents down as quickly as you can. I don't want to do this for a ton of time. Generally I would say is that it probably takes about 10 hours for most people to play through this if you're mostly playing on all-star or veteran difficulty. You can do it faster if you're able to play on, on Legendary or, uh, or or Hall of Fame. If you play Legend on Hall of Fame, you could probably finish it a little bit quicker. But, you know, it, it really depends on what kind of player that you are. For me, I generally try to do all-star and Hall of Fame or veteran, depending on how I'm playing at the time. If you want to get through it a little bit easier and still relatively quickly, you can just simulate more often. So you're gonna go through your turns and just continuing to reinforce. I'm gonna show you what I mean right now. So I haven't touched this yet, but this is my next thing to do because it's the, it's the last conquest that I have to complete. So generally what you wanna do is you wanna protect your original, your original uh, base right here, but you don't wanna just get the ones that are right near. You wanna branch out as far as you can because the game, the computer, isn't gonna really try to attack you too much early on as it's gonna try to take as many opening spots as well. You should do the same. So we're gonna go in a circle here. We're gonna see what we can do. Because I wanna cut them off. I don't want them expanding too far. So if you see Colorado is expanding over here, I don't really care about some of these things that are in the middle. I'm going to come around over here, and you see I'm leaving some openings, and that's done on purpose because I could fill those in later without much of a threat of being attacked and losing those spots. Another thing to keep in mind is that every three territories that you get that you have is going to add to one fan that you see over in the down the right corner where it says turn one 12, tori 12 territories, 12 million fans. Okay, so every three of these that I get will add one more territory. So I don't want to play a game right now, and I don't want I don't want to steal, and I don't want to attack. So steal fans, I'm going to skip this, because honestly, there's no point of doing it. There's nothing here that says I have to collect, I mean, I have to complete anything in a certain amount of turns, so I'm not really worried about that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually reinforce over here, because I want to try to cut these twins off as much as I possibly can. Moving fans, I'm not going to be getting into moving fans yet, because like I said, I just want to get as many of these spots as possible and try to cut Minnesota off from expanding. Same thing with the Cubs right here. I'm going to skip this as well. I'm going to reinforce. I'm going to probably reinforce right, put two extra here, so have three, and hopefully I can get here or here. If not, I can just hold it on for another round. And I also want to start expanding on Colorado, and I want to see if I can get around them to start cutting them off as well. So if anything, they'll just reinforce their stronghold, and I can get more territories, which will mean more fans, meaning I can expand even that much more quickly. So I I probably want to try to do this one here, try to cut Colorado off. Okay. So I don't have to worry about Colorado right now, so I can come here and cut, cut Minnesota. Okay, so Minnesota did do one. No big deal. I can either move it right here to get one extra to get another territory, or I can just hold on to it. I'm going to hold on for now because I'm unsure what I'm going to do based upon what the other teams do. So I can leave this here. I'm just going to skip again, reinforce, and right now I think I'm going to reinforce a few over here, half here, because I, like I said, I want to start cutting them off. And I can move. Actually, I'm going to keep them here so they're not attacked. Uh, the the computer will not attack if it's even. 
It only attacks if it has a lead. So if it's two to two, you could always do that to reinforce as well. Like right now, I'm not worried about the twins taking any of this because it's even. They'll only attempt to take it if there's one more. So I'm going to keep this two here because he might, tr the computer twins right here might try to attack here at some point soon. So I'm just going to go around. I'm going to skip to attack. And I want to get down here and try to cut Colorado off so they're not expanding as much. To be the same thing here with with KC. We want to get as much as we can. I guess I'm going to keep this here for now because of the border is the even. I will add one, and I might even add one here and here, if I think that they might start to steal or attack, I should say. So now I'm going to start to get worried about the A's in Seattle over here taking some easy, some easy shots. So I'm actually going to put one here in case I can possibly steal this one. And then I'm gonna put the rest here and try to expand out as far as I can. I'm trying to make that big bubble, and you'll see why in a minute, because like I was saying, they're, they're gonna try not to attack if you're cutting them off. Might as well just put this here. And, you, and uh, let's see, yeah. Put that there. Skip to reinforce. Now, since this is a stronghold, I'm not really worried about two, but just in case, I'm gonna put it there so again, I will not be attacked. I'm gonna put one here as well so I can keep that open. Now, I don't have too many places where I can expand that are contested right now. So I'm gonna actually try to come down and see what I can close off over here, just to give myself the best possible start. We'll skip that phase once again. Just want to try to get down as far, far south as I possibly can. I could go one more over, and then I could go all the way down into this corner. Now, you may lose these at some point. It's, 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 it's definitely possible. Okay, got some five packs there. Beautiful. And I'm gonna move this actually here because I feel pretty protected about these guys as well as here. Okay, so like I said, I can do that, but I wanna leave this here to be protected. I'm gonna skip that again. Try to see if I can move, get to capture these three open ones here. We can capture these three open here, and then the rest I'm just going to throw up here at the top. Just as many as I can. I don't, I'm not worried about moving. I'm going to go down here because this is the one that is the most chance of getting contested. See, like they filled in right over there. Alright, so I have one left over. No big deal. I'm going to fill in these spots over here. Just fill them all in, because like I said, we want to get as many territories as possible, because that gives you as many fans as possible, which gives you the chance to put as many as you can when you're attacking, which gives you the best chance of winning, because you can put it on easier difficulties if you have more fans in that territory that's attacking the territory that you're looking to attack. So there's nothing else I really want to do right here, right now. So I'm going to skip again. I don't care about stealing fans. You can do it if you want, but honestly, it, it's it's not really time efficient. So I would say don't bother doing it because there is no turn requirements here. Sometimes they put turn requirements on saying that you have to capture this stronghold within the first three turns. So if that's the case, sometimes you might have to play higher difficulties or go right through it and then restart it over. It, it, it depends. Like when they do Conquest Extreme, which uh, we'll see if they do that this year. Okay, let's bring this up to six so we can fill in the five over here. And then there's really not much else that we can do right now. So I think what I'm actually going to do is bolster up here and work out for here. And then I'm going to probably try to attack the twins after. I'm going to keep this here so it's not attacked. It's not a big deal. Now you see we already have 54 territories. And we've pretty much done this relatively uncontested. I think we've only lost a couple of territories and look at what we and look at what we have gained. 
Okay, gonna work our way out here. We could also work our way back out to Colorado if I want to do another one right after this. I don't necessarily have to go after the Twins right now. I do want to take out their left side here, though. Again, it's not completely necessary, and there's different there's different uh, schools of thought on this. But there's many things that you can do here. So I'm going to take this out here. And then what I think I'm going to do is go one more over just so I can attack the Twins if I want to attack them. Yeah, that looks, uh, that looks right to me. See, they did, they did uh, break this up over here, which means I cannot move fans. But all you have to do is make sure you have a connection. So we can get back to that connection in a minute. So if you, sometimes I go right for it to reconnect. Sometimes I don't. I think this time, though, I actually am. I'm going to reconnect it on a couple of lines, so if they do take out one line, I don't lose too much. What do we have right now? We have 61 territories, and now I can already add 20 reinforcements. Again, I'm not going to move fans. I'm going to hope that I can get through this. You don't have to worry about the territories with one. Like I said, they are not going to attack you, so you really do not have to worry about them. So I'm, atta I'm attaching my territories again, which means that if I want to move fans, I'll be able to do that once again. And I'm going to try to attach them on multiple, multiple territories. <laughs> they already broke it up again. Multiple territories. So if they do break up in one area, we can still have a connection. As long as you're keeping a connection, you can move the fans within. I'm not going to go through the entire thing here. I don't think uh, you guys need that. I think you get the gist. I am going to show you the difference, though, in if you're trying to attack with a lot in the same ter territory or very few in the territory. Okay, so we are going to... We are nice and connected here. We have 65 territories. We're going to skip. And then we're going to reinforce, okay? So just remember that this is 11 to 2 here, so this is a big difference. It will not be advantageous to do this. They'll probably make us play on Hall of Fame or even Legend. Now here, for example, if I put all these in here, now I have a pretty big advantage on them. I don't know if they're going to let me get a, a rookie game, but probably a veteran game. But let's see. Let me skip to attack. Okay, so let's see what happens if we try to play the Rockies here. We try to play the Rockies right now. If you look at the fan distribution, they have a very large, uh, a large advantage on us. So we can only play this on Legend. So unless you're really, really confident in your skills, I would say don't even bother. It's a waste of time. <laughs> even if you are really good, even the best players in the world will lose to Legend sometimes. Because sometimes the computer is just like predetermined to win. Not to say that you can't beat them on Legend. I beat them on Legend the majority of the time. One of my Conquest videos earlier when I was doing the WBC one, I actually showed the whole thing where I beat them, and I beat them pretty handily, 8 nothing. You could definitely do it. But you got you have to be pretty confident in your skills, and I wouldn't recommend doing that. It was only because they were trying to steal one of my strongholds. Okay, and now we're looking at here, where I have the large advantage, and I can't quite do rookie. I don't know what the threshold is. My guess is if I had 25, because I only have double the amount of fans here, if I had more than double, I could probably play... On rookie, but since I don't, I can play on veteran, which would make this a lot easier for you to do. So, like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. This is just a quick gist on how you can get through this more quickly. And I hope this was more concise than my other video. I was a comment saying that it didn't help them; they were kind of confused. I hope that this gives you a better understanding of what to do in Qu in conquest. If you found this helpful or you enjoy my content, please do me a favor: hit that like button and subscribe. And hopefully, I will catch you on the next one later.